The Lieutenant of Inish Moor at the Noel Cowd Theatre, starring Aidan Turner and directed by Michael Grandage. Mad Poirick is an Irish terrorist in the time of the Troubles. He's too violent and unpredictable even for the IRA, but he loves his cat. And when the only thing he loves is killed, Poirick wants vengeance. If you've only seen Aidan Turner in Poldark, you'll be amazed at how hilarious as well as threatening he is as this man of extremes, flipping from anger to tears to a twinkling smile in the space of a few seconds. And he's well supported by Dennis Conway as his father Donny, Chris Wally straight out of Rada but hitting it out of the auditorium as the hangdog youth Davy, Charlie Murphy as Porrick's equally crazy love interest, uh, Murade, and in fact all the cast. Every character is as thick as two slices of beet, <laughs> but maybe we all are when it comes to understanding terrorism. Martin Budonik's play is the blackest of black comedies, written nearly 25 years ago, but more relevant than ever. It satirises terrorists and how their distorted idealism in which violence breeds violence and leads to a blind pursuit of their goals at the expense of morality or even decent human behaviour. The first act has some great funny lines. I, I particularly liked the description of cats as full of themselves. Um, but mainly it serves to introduce us to the characters and to set up the fast-moving action of the second act. And that's when it really takes off, with one violent incident leading to another in a series of twists so ingenious that every so often they got a round of applause from the audience. Oh, the violence. Michael Granager's production is so exaggerated that everything becomes comical, but even so it's still quite a shock to see someone's brain splattered across a wall live on stage. It's so totally over the top, it goes down the other side and over another top. I give the Lieutenant of Inish Moor five stars. And if you want to keep up with the latest UK theatre news and reviews, please listen to my podcast, Theatre News Weekly. That's what I thought of the Lieutenant of Inishmoor. Here's what other critics said, with pretty much universal four and five star reviews. The Evening Standard, awarding four stars, said Martin McDonagh's play, revived by director Michael Grandage as a blend of bloodbath and cartoon caper, pokes fun at the more demented forms of political extremism. The Guardian awarding five stars said it was a first-rate revival of a play that still instructively shocks. The review goes on to describe it as comedy at its blackest, its portrait of the sentimentality and sanctimonious rhetoric that often lies behind terrorist violence has acquired new resonance. McDonough especially skewers the puritanism that is part of purblind devotion to a cause. The Sun, which after visiting Orlando Bloom and Killer Joe seems to be becoming a regular theatre-goer, gave five stars and said this is one romp nobody should miss. Broadway World, giving four stars, said, I didn't know it was possible for a play this bloody to be so funny. The Telegraph's four-star review called it a savagely funny satire. The four-star Time Out review described it as a very funny and stupendously violent dark comedy, continuing, so long as you're not even slightly squeamish, it's as funny a show as you'll see this year. And what about Aidan Turner? Well, The Guardian said, Turner is excellent as Porrick and plays him not as some wild-eyed barbarian, but as a man endowed with a demented innocence. And the Telegraph liked him too. Turner's intense stare carries a surprising amount of charge away from the small screen. What's more of a revelation, it said, is his capacity to turn on a sixpence between hard man and crybaby. The deadpan effect at once comical and disquieting. Time Out described him perfectly nailing Porrick's weirdly endearing mix of innocence, zealotry, a murderous rage. And the standard said, Turner switches nimbly between dead-eyed coolness and twinkly volatility. The Times in yet another four-star review said, Turner is hilarious to watch. And Broadway World said, he brings an energy and vitality to the character that makes his madness believable and wonderfully dangerous. Even the stage, which was perhaps the least enthusiastic with its three stars, agreed with everyone else about Aidan Turner, saying he is impressive as Porrick, combining charisma with volatility, and underneath that, an endearing goofiness. Thank you for watching One Minute Theatre Reviews. If you found this review helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the icon at the bottom of the screen.